So here's the Astron RS35M power supply. Pretty well, pretty popular power supply. Just about everybody I know has got one. And uh, they're pretty durable, long lasting, but they do go on the fritz once in a while. This one is on the bench here because it would have intermittent voltage drops all the way down to one to two volts for no reason at all. And you turn it back on and the voltage would come back to 13.8 volts and then a couple days later it would drop. So seemingly no reason at all. Well, today we're going to just do a simple fix. Uh, instead of putting it on the shelf or pawning it off or buying another one, you can buy this board here directly from Astron for $27. They've got them for all their power supplies. It's the regulator board. And as we'll see, that's the only board in there. Instead of trying to figure out which, it's probably this component here. Uh, they tell me it's this one plus another one on the phone. And instead of trying to do that, I'm just going to replace the board. Okay. After you take off just a few bolts, it's a lot easier to slide the front forward than push it backwards. Okay. So here... Here's the old regulator board that we're going to replace with a new one right here. So why bother trying to find the right component and all on this board when for 27 bucks you can just buy the whole board. And there's not much to this transformer. The filter, capacitor, and transformer, and then just the meter wiring. You know, the guts of the regulator is in here. Just take those screws, two screws that mount it off, and there's several connections that just need to be soldered onto this board. It's a good idea to uh, use your camera and take a couple of pictures of where these connectors go. It's very helpful. So you don't have to trace down the schematic. Okay, so we're just doing some soldering have some of the wires here. Uh, I'll count them up later. They're not too complicated. One good tip is when you take the old board off, I should have thought about this for all the wires, but if you clip just a tiny bit, like I did there and the red and the orange, off the old board, it really helps you remember in addition to your photographs uh, which wires get Put back in. I think there's nine total connections, including the two screw-ins. Um, but let me get the last couple in. Yeah, we're getting right near the end here. Uh, this is a lot of times where the pictures, the photos that you took beforehand, pay off. Check everything out. Tighten everything up. I I actually untied. They they didn't. They don't use a cable tie here, but they tie these these wires together here to make things easier for them. And uh, I loosened them up to get me some more slack to go to the the circuit board. And we'll just put a cable tie on there, but I think she's good to go. Okay, we plug the AC power in. Let's see. Yeah, how about that? Everything seems to light up okay. I'm put my alligator clips on here. On the back. Test that out. Yep, a little over 13 volts. Looks pretty doggone good to me. Job well done. Meters are we there's nothing attached, no current to drain. A little over 13 volts. It's pretty good. Before I put this regulator board in, I will say this always seemed to run about 13, 8, 14, 
uh, over 14 I would say close to the top of that scale I'm kind of glad it's back a little bit uh, that may have been what caused the problem in the first place but this has been in service for quite a long time idle duty for 24 7 and uh, used quite a bit over the years and so that simple replacement of that regulator board uh, a little bit of soldering a little bit of work rejuvenated back to normal your Astron RS35M this is K8EA saying 7-3 all